If there's anyone on here, maybe on the Instagram, especially, or the Zoom, who I have not yet met, my name is Laurel. Welcome to my living room. We do this every weekday at three. And if you have questions, feel free to unmute or toss them in the chat. All right. So our first move is a classic. It is a wrist curl. Today we're going to be doing upward wrist curls. So really straightening out the elbows and using the muscles of the forearms to work into the exercise. So go ahead and start your cycle if you have not already done so. Got mine going. Cool. And we're gonna do a full minute of these. So I like to step my feet slightly wider than hip distance and kind of find some stability through my body. And then we'll go ahead and start our time. One minute, upward wrist curl. Sweet. And I'd say this is one of our easier exercises of the day. So if you wanna move fast, by all means, go for it. Starting to wake the body up. Awesome. Good. Cycles are starting to move, bodies are starting to move. There we go. Good, we're about half done, so let's keep going. Some of the movements we're gonna be doing today involve many, many muscles, and some of them are more targeted, and this is definitely the latter of that, too. All right, last 20 seconds. If you can pick up the pace, now would be your time. And after this, we're gonna move on to our next move, but we will revisit this move later on in our practice. Give me five, four, three, two, and release. Awesome. Next up, we have a reverse plank march. We have 20 seconds to make our way down. So everyone come on down to your floor, your workspace. I step my legs long. I'm working the triceps, back of the arms. Your variations are hips are up, lift, Lift, or if that's not in the realm of reasonable today, knees are bent, up, up. We've got one minute of marching. Pick your position. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Good. Whichever variation you're doing, you're contracting, you're working the triceps the whole time to keep your butt lifted off the floor. Woo! And if you're doing the straight leg march, you're also getting some leg and core work in there as well. If you're doing the bent leg, you're getting a little bit of that also. So no matter which variation you're doing, we're not only working the triceps, we're also getting a whole body maneuver. Awesome. Let's off the ground. Fantastic. Good. Woo, there we go. Awesome. We've got 20 more seconds. As long as your butt's lifted, that's all I care about. And up. Uh, this is move two of five. There we go. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We're on the ground, which is perfect for our next exercise, which is called around the world plank. So I'm starting on my belly. I'm reaching my arms up, around. I bring them back down, push up. I go down, reach out, around, come back through, and press into plank. If you need to do it on your knees, that's fine. One minute, starting on our bellies in three, two, one. We work through a range of motion of the shoulders. Then we root our hands down, press up. Come down, work through that range, root the hand, and press up. Good, keep working through it. Let me see who we've got on today. Woo, there we go, nice job. Working the muscles of the chest, the shoulders. Good, looks great. We are already half done, there we go. Good, as you press up into that plank position, make sure that your body stays Flat, the hips and the spine. Good. And I'll keep demonstrating here, working through with you, last 15 seconds. Woo, there we go. Last 10. See if you can give me one, maybe two more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and root the hands into the floor. Press yourself up onto your knees. Next exercise, we're going to get going in 20 seconds, is a military plank. 
So ideally we're in plank position. I drop down, down, up, up. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Okay, we've got one minute. We're going in four, three, two. Let's do it. Down, down, up, up. And the pace of this doesn't matter to me as long as you're doing your best to keep moving the whole time. Woo, we're already 15 seconds in. You guys have got it. After this, we'll take a quick sip of water. Beautiful. Monday circuit. We're going all in. We're getting the body moving. We're working hard so we can have a strong week. Half done. Keep going. If you want to move slowly through it, that's fine too. You want to move super fast, by all means, go for it. Awesome job, Instagram, as well. Everyone's firing on all cylinders. About 15 seconds. Woo! I know. Mm -hmm. In 10, we're going to drop the knees and rest, but we're gonna stay down on our mats because our next exercise is on our forearms. Give me three, two, one. Everybody drop your knees. Awesome job. Do a 20 seconds rest. Take a gaze at your screen. Our next exercise, we're coming all the way down for a forearm plank punch. Punch, punch, okay? Fully extending the arms forward keeping the rest of the body stable. All right, come on down to your forearms. We've got four, three, two, let's do it. One minute, forearm plank punch. You can always do this one on your knees if you need to, okay? Most important is that we keep going. So this is round one. After this, we're gonna do our second round and then we'll swap out our bands. So this is our cardio for the day. So work into it. Awesome, Jeff. Nice, Jim. Woo. Regulating the breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. If you can, we're already half done. Keep it up. Nice, Bonnie. You got it. Yeah. Amazing. George, your background looks like it's the Zion Narrows, perhaps. You can report back during the break. Last 15 seconds. Awesome, John. Wait, John, that looks like Isaiah. Hmm. <laughs> Good. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come on up to stand. Move the upper body around. Give the shoulders a shrug. We are half done with our upper body work. A lot of plank variations today. You guys look great. All right. Please take a sip of water if you have not done so. Uh, something we review oftentimes in our practice, but I didn't say today, is we want to also try and not only drink water throughout our practice, but also before we start. So if you can get 12 ounces before you get going with the, your bands, that's always optimal. I always am drinking my water as I'm creating the exercise routine. All right, let's do it again. One minute of our exercises, 20 seconds rest in between. George says, Antelope Canyon above the Grand Canyon. Gotcha, okay. Some kind of candy dust place. All right, one minute. Wrist curls, three, two, one. Let's do it. Curling up, up. Whatever your pace is, as long as you can sustain it the whole time. And I'm curious on the break, we'll have our question of the day, but I'm curious if anyone's seen results from working with the bands over the last couple weeks or months. Um, I know that personally, even without having a gym and not having weights, which I'm really used to as a trainer, I've been able to keep a whole lot of my muscle definition and even build a little bit more. So wondering if anyone's having a similar experience. Good, we are half done. Keep curling those wrists up, up. Rest of the body is stable, getting into the forms. And we're not just swapping them around, we're contract, lift. Lift, there we go, last 18. Nice, give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds rest, using this time to come down into our reverse plank march. So go ahead and make your way down, prop yourself up, either bent knees or straight legs. We're going in four, three, Two, one minute, reverse plank march. Up, 
up. And you don't have to lift your legs as high, it doesn't matter. The goal here though is adding more weight to the tricep. So by lifting up one leg, the arms have to work a little bit harder. Good, up, there we go, nice. Woo, and really press through the base of your knuckles here. It'll help take some of the pressure off the wrist. We're already half done. Butts up. Awesome. Yes, there we go. Woo, last 20 seconds. Already on our second exercise of five. We're doing so great. Give me 10. Don't stop now. Lift your butt up even higher. Work through it. This is our last rep of this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll the wrist out. Start to make your way down onto your belly for a round the world plank, AKA a reverse push up. So we're coming all the way down. Time is rolling in four, three, two. I reach up and around, swimmers. You could also call it swim plank. Straight up into plank. If you wanna make it harder, work slower on that lower on that lift. Out, around. Really slowly push up with control. Drop all the way down into it and keep going. Woo, looks good. Amazing. So strong. We are half done. Yes. Good. See if you can work into that plank position really slowly. Spread the fingers wide. That's your base. Last 15 seconds. Woo, there we go. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Everyone, make your way up onto hands and knees from our belly. Next up, we have our military plank. Then we have our forearm plank punch, and then we are done with the upper body. We're grooving into the lower body in the quest of the day. So, stepping your way back into plank position, we're going military plank in three, two, one. I go forearm, forearm, hand, hand, forearm, forearm, hand, hand. One minute, time is rolling. Good. You need to pause in either the forearm plank or the high plank, that's fine too. Your upper body's moving. Nice, Jim. There's your guys. <laughs> All right. Looking good, gang. We are half done. Yes, after this, we only have one more exercise. Woo, there we go. Last 15 seconds, bring it on. Get that heart rate a little bit elevated here because this is our cardio for the day. Let me see, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Everyone start to make your way down onto your bellies, rooting the forearm into the mat. Final exercise for this round is going to be the forearm plank punch. Then we're gonna do a quick upper body stretch and we'll switch out our band. So tuck those toes, come up into forearm plank. One minute, reach, reach, or punch. Punch, time is rolling, let's go. Yes, fantastic. This is it. If you wanna add some speed in there, by all means, add some speed. And by coming onto one arm, we're really weighting that second arm so almost mimicking like a using weights or using a machine like thing. We're able to use our body weight to add the weight in there. Great, looks good. Woo wee. We are half done. Yes, keep it up. Even though it's hot, even though we might be tired, we're doing our best because we know we always feel better after we work out. Can you? 15 more seconds, lost my count there for a moment. <laughs> Good, engage your core, engage your glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
to and rest. Everyone hop on up, grab some water. And let's give the arms a stretch. Reach your left arm up and over the body and start to draw some circles with that arm. Just move it around. This is not for strengthening purposes because of course, nothing can become engorged when my band is up, but we wanna stretch everything out. We just did a lot of plank stuff. So let's release it for a moment. Big old circles up and around. Yeah. And let's get into the right side of the body. Reach that arm up and over. Big old circles, move through it. Nice. <laughs> Couple more. And come back through center, clasp the hands, bicep stretch, open up across the chest. And go ahead and release the hand. Let's swap out our armbands for our leg bands. And the question of the day is, what are you doing when you are your best version of yourself? What are you doing when you're your best version of yourself? So go ahead and swap out your bands. Anyone on Instagram, feel free to toss your answer in the chat. And I'd like to hear answers. Also, if anyone has seen any progress or noticeable strength, growth, anything using the band, I always love to hear your stories. Uh, so it's really cool to know that some of the work we've been doing may be doing something. So go ahead and swap out your bands, toss your answers in the chat or unmute, and let's talk about it. So my best would be in nature in a very meditative, relaxed state. I and love it. The uh, yes, beneficial. So three, three months, two, two and a half months, uh, uh, noticing refined muscle and, and better that way, yeah. I am 100% with you. Me too. You took my answer, Jim. <laughs> Mary says, I've made great progress. Balance and flexibility are great improved. Awesome. Thank you, Mary, for sharing. Anyone else? Body progress you've noticed or question of the day, what are you doing when you feel your best? I've noticed a lot of us are usually outside based on our answers and things we like to do. Uh, but I'm curious if that rolls over to our best selves. So I, I'm probably my best outside doing something in nature. Um, and I also have noticed probably my, my waist is thinner, the same weight. Um, so I, but I also do probably two a day Katsu workouts. I mean, I typically do a Sato with X3 bands, bar, X3 bar bands or, um, or weights. And then uh, maybe a zone two workout on a, on a bike. And, uh, you know, so I'm, it's not like, uh, um, or TRX or whatever. So I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, or climbing. I mean, it's just. You've got a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> I love it though. If anyone wants like a, a workout lifestyle, go to George. He'll tell you exactly what to do. He's got hours of ideas. <laughs> Steve says, just George is making me tired. Just listening to the workouts, right? I don't work out that much ever. Uh, Bonnie says, definite refining of muscle in arms and upper legs. Best in a lone canoe on a quiet lake. Yes. Awesome. We like being outside. We're a group of outdoorsy folks. I love it. All right. Let's get our cycles going. Sip of water all around and we'll jump into our leg circuit. Sorry, bud. All right. So come on up. And I do have a cat, his name is Carrot, and sometimes he likes to bob in and out of the workouts. So if you see him roaming around, he's, uh, he's training to be a Katsu specialist right now, and he's still a work in progress. So he's, uh, he's uh, a work in progress. All right, so our exercises for the lower body are going to be cardio intensive as well. Uh, and my headphones kind of took a nap, so if anyone can't hear me, just feel free to unmute and let me know. Uh, we should be fine. So our five exercises for the lower body are jump rope. And then we have reverse lunge to leg kick. 
So I lunge back with my right foot, kick with my left. Lunge, kick. So it's alternating sides. After that, we have a plank side hop. This one's a piece of work, it's hard. I come into plank, I jump up, back, up, back, side to side, okay? After that, we're doing prisoners. So my hands are behind my head, I go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, and those are our moves, okay? So we're gonna start off with one minute of jump rope, working into the calves. So when you're doing your jump rope, think keeping the heels off the floor the entire time, okay? So come on up to stand. We've got one minute of jump rope. We're going in four, three, two, here we go. One minute, jump and rope. Nice. Woo. <laughs> and by all means, you can play with this. Maybe you jump on one foot. Maybe you jump side to side. Since we have a full minute and we want to try and keep the heels off the floor the whole time, get creative with it. Challenge yourself. Good. Half done. Woo! There we go. Good. Maybe double jump. <laughs> awesome. Last 20 seconds. Getting that heart rate up, working into our caps. Last 10. All out, fast as you can go. Give me nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, 20 seconds rest. We use this to set up for our next exercise. Reverse lunge, kick. Reverse lunge, Kick. We're going 30 seconds per side. I want you to try and move fairly fast through this one. It's not a jumping exercise, so it's nice and easy on the joints, but it does require some balance. So challenge yourself, keep a fast pace. Starting with the right leg. We're going in three, two, one. Reverse lunge. Kick. Back. Kick. Only working into one side, and then we'll do the other side next. Woo, there we go. Great. Nice. All right. Last 10, then we're gonna go right to the other side. Give me five, four, three, two. Left leg, reverse lunge, kick, back, kick. Keep moving. Great job, everybody. Good job, good job. I love it. There we go. See if you can get that leg up really high on the kick. Working the core as well. Last 10. Nice. Back knee drops in on that lunge. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 20 seconds rest. We're working into our next exercise which is the plank side hop. So we're gonna come down into plank and we're gonna hop side to side. So set yourself up in plank. Do your best to give me some jumps. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Side, back, side, back. One minute, get the feet as high outside the hands as you can. Good. After this, we have two more exercises, one of which I didn't demonstrate, but we'll dive into. Woo, nice. Now a whole minute of this is hard. Pick a pace that you can keep doing. After this, we're gonna take a quick sip of water before we jump into our next exercise. Everyone looks great. Fired up. Woo, there we go. Nice, Jim. We're jumping back into plank. It looks great. Bonnie, awesome. Yes, Keziah, go girl, go. We are half done. Keep it up, don't stop now. We know we get our water after this. 
We're already more than halfway done with the first set. Woo, there we go. Last 20 seconds, come on, come on. Good. See if you can do eight more jumps. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody grab a sip of water. Yeah. Not easy stuff. Not easy at all. We've got two more things to do for our lower body. Okay. Start to make your way back to your mat or your workspace. Hands behind the head. Next up, we have one minute of prisoners. It's like the leg version of the military plank. I go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And my challenge to you is stay low the whole time. Don't let those muscles lose their contraction. So coming down, we go down, down, up, up. One minute, let's go. Good, if you wanna go fast, go fast. Goal is to keep that upper body stable the whole time. Awesome, everyone's got it. Woo, yeah. Nice. And it's so hard to keep the head from bobbing here, but work into the legs. Use the control of your muscles to keep you low to the ground. Fantastic. We are half done, more than half done. Last 20 seconds, keep going, keep going. We've got one more exercise after this. Yes, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody up to stand, kick the legs out. All right, last exercise of this round is a twist squat jump. I bring my hands together for stability. I come into my squat position. I twist, twist, jump, twist, twist, jump. Okay, one minute, we're going in four, three, two, here we go, up, up, jump, up, up, back into squat, jump. Keep it up. Nice, each time you pull that leg up, drop back into a squat, twist, back into another squat, jump, another squat. Yes. This is round one, then we've got round two, we do some core, very important, and then we're done for the day. Yes, that's it, don't forget that jump. Amazing. All right, half done, I'm gonna jump back in. Up, up, jump, there we go. Yes, last 15 seconds. Give me 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Oh my goodness, circle the hips around. We have one minute of rest, grab water, adjust your bands if you need to, mine are falling off my legs, and we're gonna go through it again. We did it. All right. Great job, everybody. Ooh, I can tell we're tired, everyone looks good. Okay, we've got about 30 more seconds of rest, then we're gonna do it again, starting with the jump rope. Then we have the reverse lunge kick, the plank side hops, prisoners, and our last twist squat 
jump. <laughs> a lot of words going on there. Like, what's what? All right. So let's come on up. If you're seated, we're jumping rope one whole minute, keeping your heels off the floor the whole time. On your marks, get set. Let's do this. Awesome. Woo, there we go. Play with it, side to side. Maybe front to back. <laughs> Heels up, half done. Maybe one leg. Maybe the other leg. Woo wee, last 20 seconds. Bring it home, fast, jump, jump. Double time. <laughs> Last 15. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Whew, we have 20 seconds rest. We're coming to our reverse lunge kick, this time starting with the left leg. So set yourself up in a stable position. Step the left foot back, lunge with the left leg, kick with the right in three, two, one. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick. Only 30 seconds per side. We can do it. Beautiful. We're already half done with this side. Pick up the pace, why not? It's our last round of the day. If you think about it, a circuit of five moves, one minute each, that's five minutes of work. We can do it. Good. Five, four, three, two. Switch sides, right leg. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick. Get that back knee down, keep moving. Nice job. Woo, there we go. Faster, faster. We know how to do this. Yes, get that back knee down. Get that back knee down even more. There we go, last 10. Good. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab a sip of water, we got 20 seconds. Then we're making our way down into plank for our plank side hops. And after our plank side hops, we're gonna take a slightly extended rest because my goodness, that's a hard exercise. Everybody down into plank. All right. We have one minute. We hop side, back into plank, other side, back into plank. Ready? Let's go. Jump, back, jump, back. Move it, move it. Amazing. And this is the hardest thing that we are doing today. So work through it. We know we get our pause after this. And make it your best. Yes. Oh, so good. See if you can jump those feet all the way up outside each hand. Use your core. Get it involved. Half done. Beautiful. Yes. Go, Kazaya, go. You got it, girl. Awesome, Jim. Antelope Canyon looks beautiful, George. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Come on, come on. We know we get a rest after this. See if you can do four more hops. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Water all along. We get us all around. We get a slightly lengthened breather. And then we have our last two moves, our prisoners and our squat twist jump. Then we're going to do our core moves like a little baby circuit because we've got some good moves for today. That was hard stuff. That was really hard stuff. Whew. All right. Fan yourself off. Catch a deep breath. Okay. Start to make your way back to your workspace. Now, 
hands behind the head. My feet are parallel and I drop into a narrow squat. Now keeping my body low, one minute prisoners on your mark, get set, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, down. I'm tangled, up, up. Woo, that's it. This also requires mobility of the ankles to help you get low. So if this is something that's particularly challenging, think of it as challenging not only in terms of the quads and the glutes, but also increasing ankle mobility. So there's a lot going on here and it looks great. Half done. Good. Nice. Now, making sure that those elbows are nice and wide. We're not slouching out our spine. Press them back a little bit. Maybe press them back a lot. Last 15 seconds. Oh boy, looks great. Good. In 10, we're gonna make our way up to stand. See if you can do six more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Everybody up, kick out the legs. Last move of the day. I'm gonna get my cycle going. Squat, twist, jump. Hands together, clasp them. I don't care how many of these you do as long as you keep going throughout the minute. This is our last final push of work standing on our feet for the lower body. So just a refresher, we come into the squat position. I twist, squat, twist, squat, jump, squat. One minute, let's go. Twist, squat, twist, squat, jump, squat. Each time you come back into that squat in the center. Keep it up. These are working not only the quads and the glutes, but also the obliques, the sides of our abs as we work into that twist. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Keep it up. Keep that spine nice and straight so we don't want to slouch and round. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are half done. Whew, good. Like it. See if you can get even lower into that squat. Push, challenge yourself. Home stretch. 20 more seconds. I'm going to jump in with you because we're all doing so well. Good. Last 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands on the hips, move it around, release everything. Groove around the other way and take a gaze at your screen. We have three core moves. We're doing 30 seconds each, and we're running through it twice. Little baby core circuit. So our first move is I come down onto one side, doesn't matter which one. I take my hands behind my head, and I crunch my knees up, out, up, out. And as you're doing this, your top hip is gonna wanna roll back. Try and keep your hips stacked the whole time. In, out, in, out. We have 30 seconds of that, 30 seconds the other side, and then 30 seconds of jackknife. I go down, up, down, up, okay? All right, let's do this. Set yourself up. If you need to keep your top hand rooted into the floor to keep you from rolling back onto your butt for this first set, that's totally okay. Get those feet off the floor, 30 seconds. Knees up, out. Up, out, time is rolling. Woo, there we go. Always okay to do this too, that's fine. Keep going. We are working into our obliques even more. Half done. Good. Awesome. 
Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way over onto your other side. Hands behind the head or top hand into the floor for stability. We've got 30 seconds, other side lying crunch in four, three, two, let's go. Knees in, out, in, out. Try and keep your feet off the floor the whole time. Always okay to do this. Requires a fair amount of bodily control and core contracting, and that's exactly what we want. Yes, great. After this, we're going to make our way onto our backs for our jackknives half done. Then we're gonna go through it one more time, and then we're gonna call it a day. There we go. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone on your back, head, neck, and shoulders, arms, everything is off the floor. I glue my hands together. I glue my ankles together, making sure my low back stays rooted into the floor the whole time. 30 seconds. Back, up, back, up. Do not let your limbs touch the floor. Do not let your spine lift off the floor. Ooh, working into that range of motion. And if you wanna move slower so that you get deeper into it, that's totally cool. You know what the move is, make it yours. Good. Straight legs, straight arms. Find length, find resistance, challenge yourself. Nice, keep your head off the floor the whole time. If you can, last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna come back onto our first side in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way over onto one side, doesn't matter which side. This time we're gonna do something slightly different, but along the same grain, still working our obliques. Top hand into the floor. I want you to get both legs off the mat and keep them off the mat the whole time, lift. Lift, lift. Now, check your top hip. Is it staying stacked or is it rocking back? If it's starting to rock back, take your hand to that hip to help keep it there, okay? 30 seconds, three, two, one, up, up. We are using these muscles to work so hard that we're able to get both legs off the floor. It's not easy stuff. If you can get any range, any amount off the floor here, I am happy you're having a great day. Yes, half done. Woo, that was great. Look at you guys. They're not easy. Imagine you're holding something between your ankles the whole time. Squeeze it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way onto your other side. Find good form to start. Hips are stacked. 30 seconds. Here we go. Up. Up. Try not to let your ankles touch the floor the whole time. <laughs> this is a really, really hardcore exercise. And a number of people I know can barely even get their feet off the ground. Nonetheless, much height. So if you can get up at all, you're having a fantastic day. Keep it up. Half done. Then we have our jackknives and we are done for the day. Give me 10, nine, yes, squeeze it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way onto your back. Try not to let the back of your head touch the whole time. I know I'm being nitpicky, but I really want us to get that core working. It's very important. Arms up, legs up, glue your hands together. Glue your ankles together, 30 seconds. Back, up, back, and up. Time is rolling. Try and keep your limbs straight the whole time, reaching toes and fists in opposite directions. Amazing job. This is it. After this, we're gonna take a final twist to release the back half done. Yes. Woo, see if you can straighten out those limbs even more. Make your core work for it. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Everybody knees into the chest, rock side to side. We're doing three things on our back. Number one, drop the knees over to the left, twist. We moved fast today. We did not take breaks for stretching or for anything else except quick sips of water. So good job. Second thing on the back, guide both knees over to the right. Keep your shoulders rooted into the floor. Making sure we're breathing. And final thing on the back, one of my three favorite hamstring stretches. Grab the backs of both legs, pull them into the chest. With the knees drawn in towards the midline of the body, extend both legs up towards straight. If you can get your legs to be fully straight, you need to pull your knees in more. The goal is to work towards straight, providing resistance, and then drop your heels down. Work the legs up, feel that shake, Release the heels down. Let's take five more. Yeah, active hamstring stretches. Give me two more. And last one, extend those legs up towards the sky. Walk the hands up the backs of the legs. Give yourself a big hamstring stretch. Flex the feet, push the ceiling away from you with your heels. And then as you draw the knees into the chest, start to rock and roll up to sit. Better yet, rock and roll up to stand. However you choose to do so, make your way all the way up. Reach back with the left hand, grab the left ankle, foot, or something, quad stretch. Good, as you grow taller from the top of the head, Press your hip bones forward, pull the navel up towards the chin. And then start to switch sides, other leg. Tomorrow we will be exploring strength-based, more localized things, just so you know what's coming. Good, go ahead and release that leg. Give the shoulders a shrug. Reach the arms out to the sides. Give the shoulders a shrug, getting into the scapula. Good, and release the arms down. Bring the hands together. Give yourself a round of applause. Wonderful job, gang. Good Monday, full body, fire up. Great work. I'll see Thank you, you very much. Thank you all. Bye, guys. Bye.